Away from Kano State to Abuja, where the federal government has secured the sum of $800 million from the World Bank as part of measures to scale up the National Social Investment Program in preparation for the removal of fuel subsidy in June. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, made this known at the end of this week's Federal Executive Council meeting, chaired by President Muhammad Buhari. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde has the story. It seems the federal government is already taking proactive measures to cushion the effect of the hardship that will follow the removal of fuel subsidy in June this year. The Minister of Finance says the 2023 medium-term expenditure framework and the Appropriation Act will make provisions for the vulnerable in the society captured in the federal government's National Social Register. We made that provision to enable us exit fuel subsidy by June 2023. We're on course. We're having a different stakeholder engagement. We've secured some funding uh, for, from the World Bank that is the first tranche of uh, palliatives that will, be, um, that will enable us to give cash transfers to the most vulnerable in our society. The Federal Executive Council also granted approval for the National Population Census to boost its ICT infrastructure ahead of the headcount scheduled for next month. Also, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission got a favorable consideration for its memo to build a new training facility. For the contract for the development and the implementation of mobile device management solution uh, for, the personnel, for the personal digital assistance devices uh, to be used for the 2023-20 population census. This is in the sum of about 4.4 billion naira. The federal government is paying more attention to growing the non-oil sector and boosting its contribution to the gross domestic products. The council considered the need to send an executive bill to the National Assembly that will repeal the now obsolete Nigeria Mineral and Mining Law of 2007. The Attorney General will be sending the bill, uh, which is the uh, Nigeria Minerals and Mining Act 2023. Uh, that's the proposed act. The Attorney General will be sending it to the National Assembly, which we intend to follow up. This week's Federal Executive Council meeting also approved 65 million naira for the supply of fire crash tenders for selected airports. Also, 1 billion naira was approved for the purchase of operational vehicles for the Nigeria Ports Authority. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.